for one vote. And the LPW Grand Champion Champ. Your referee for this main event, PWA Hall of Famer, Mike the Fitz, Fitzpatrick. How do you boo the Fitz? What kind of people are you? Making their way to the ring first, the challenger. Last month, Zoe Sager defeated Michael Richard Blades for that LPW Grand Championship. Stephen Crow looking to bring it back to the family, literally and figuratively. MRB out here to show support for his brother and clandestine society stablemate. He came up short in his bid to become challenge champion right off the top of the show. The he Ryan. is the Ryan Zone Cowboy, Stephen Crow. The Rhinestone Cowboy looking to dance his way into your heart and dance his way to the LPW Grand Championship. But you can bet your boots, Zoe Sager. She's not looking to relinquish her grasp on that championship anytime soon. Event. What a fantastic night this has been. So much has happened tonight. Trying to wrap my head around it all. As we see the intangible one, Zoe Sager about to emerge from the curtain to defend that championship for the first time. Flanked by Reed Matthews, the thickness who we saw in action in that scramble Making match. Making her way to the ring accompanied by her bodyguard, the fitness, Reed Matthews. From down here in Benton, Alberta, she is your LBW Grand Champion, the intangible Zoe Sager. We saw Reed Matthews was administer blood force trauma to Sheikah Kar Shabazz. Now Zoe Sager looking to do the same to the Rhinestone Cowboy in our main event. You know, I used to like her. Not so much anymore, but hey, you cannot argue with results. And if that's where your mindset's got to go to get results, then even as Michael Richard Lay said, so be it, she got it done. Oh, my God. Hard kick to the side of the head of Stephen Crow, and she is not waiting. But Stephen Crow not to be outdone. Rolling through, double knees in the corner. Going for the quick cover. Zoe able to roll through. Stephen Crow says this is his moment, calling his own shot. Tried to spin through, Zoe Sager ducking. Is that loop against the Gurry butterfly in the arms now? Zoe able to escape, cut out that knee from underneath. And if you've been watching Stephen Crow matches, that those legs and those knees are a huge part of his offense. Able to sidestep that kick. Zoe able to flip out and reverse that. Human game of chess early on. Ace crusher from Zoe Sager on target. And that's gonna give her a little bit of space to work with charging in. The Rhinestone Cowboy able to sidestep. Hanging Stephen Crow out to dry. Crow able to sidestep that shoulder block. Caught up in the rope, hit that leaping knee right into the arms of the thickness, Reed Matthews. Coming to the aid of Zoe Sager up and over onto the ring apron. Double knees for the thickness. And that may remove one problem, one obstacle in the way of Stephen Crow becoming LPW Grand Champion. Zoe Sager up on that top rope, got caught by the Rhinestone Cowboy. Oh, this is not good at all. Vertical suplex. 
She landed on that top rope, able to go behind. Great ring awareness. Up onto the shoulders. Using that middle rope for balance and just dropping almost electric chair style down on that ring apron. The Fitz administering the 10 count. We could have a count out victory already. That was a hellacious fall on that ring apron. Sager asking referee to count faster. That's a Hall of Famer. He knows what he's doing. Up to eight. Nine. Oh, barely back in the ring under that bottom of a right into the clutch of the Sager hook of the leg. Oh, kick it out. Now just showing the tenacity like a rabid dog firing in rights and lefts. Mean streak of Zoe Sager. They say good things come in small packages. And really incredibly tenacious, violent things come in small packages as well. Hooking that leg. Steven throw out at two, but he's in a bad way. base goes the rhinestone cowboy scooped up onto the shoulders able to shift the weight downwards off the ropes with the head scissors staggering Sager into the corner Stephen Crow looking to follow up there's the knees I mentioned earlier backstabber from Sager using that middle rope Oof, hard into that bottom turnbuckle charging the corner Hitting a running knee of her own. Explosive offense from the LPW Grand Champion. Shoulders down again. This is your main event, the LPW Grand Championship on the line. Zoe Sager making her first defense. We saw Seven with another big team victory. We saw the Rads with a big team victory earlier on. Liza Hall successful over Kenny Stryker. Kenneth Stryker, rather. The Rhinestown Cowboy trying to fight out of that corner. Unsuccessful. Irish whip. Close on the back of the skull. Of Stephen Crow hitting the canvas hard again. Repeated cover. Zoe Sager knows. Every bit of energy he's got to use to get his shoulder off the canvas might bring her one step closer to that first successful defense. And you know the butterflies are in there, are in the gut of Zoe Sager. It's hard to win the title, but it's even harder to keep it. Crow again trying to fight up from underneath. Zoe clubbing away. Kick into that sternum area. Onto that fireman's carry position. Into the sunset flip. Shoulders are down. Sager able to roll through. Charging in. Right into that pump handle. Onto the shoulders. Rolling through. And again another cover. Very close. The face of Reed Matthews says it all. Very close. This is the difference between the Zoe Sager of early in her career and now. So much more confident, she's able to take a minute, able to slow things down, not worried. Confident in her ability to work her pace and make things happen. Throw put the brakes on, STO from Sager. Everything that Throw has done, she's had an answer for. Also a new side of Zoe Sager. Join with the fans, basement sliding, clothesline. Another cover, another kick out. More energy expended by the challenger. 
just look at the face of Sager, just disdain as she buries that knee between the shoulder blades. firmly behind the rhinestone cobbler but it doesn't mean a whole lot right now as he's the one down on the canvas. Up to his feet but in the clutches. She's got the gun pointed. She went for that Z-Factor, able to put the brakes on Crow, hit that leg lariat. Zoe crawling to the corner, able to sidestep. Her world's a little rocked right now. Charging in to the cowboy boot of the Rhinestone Cowboy and again a leaping knee off the top and the tide switching into the favor of Stephen Crow back elbow takes her down to the canvas hard immediately right back up to her feet lands her down face first and the fans are loving it let's get a little two-step action See if the Rhinestone Cowboy can two-step his way to some gold. Charging the ropes. Sager able to duck that clothesline caught with the heel of the boot. There is that clothesline to the back of the skull. Hooking the leg and we see a new champion. Sager out at two. Stephen Crow taking a moment to assess the situation he finds himself in now. A little bit of breathing room. Can't take too much time though. Able to break that wrist control. Scoops her up onto the shoulders. Death Valley driver when she landed on her feet. Up that clothesline cut into the Uranagi, but Zoe able to arm drag out of it. She's had an answer for just about everything. Landing on that middle row, great athleticism. Sager switching positions. Off that middle row, beautiful shotgun drop kick. And Sager, the champ, is feeling it. Charging in again. Throw caught her. He will swing her up into that middle rope, but we've seen this before. Oh, he tried to drive both knees in. Zoe wanted no part of it, able to catch onto the shoulders. Great show of power. Landing him down. Could be the first successful defense. Throw out of two. Stephen Crow's had some flashes of success in this match, but. For the most part, Zoe's been able to dictate the pace, dictate the action. That's why she's standing tall, and the Rhinestone Cowboy not so much, and she feeds off that hate. She feeds off that disdain from the crowd. Stephen Crow trying to get back up on those pink cowboy boots. Oh, caught the wrist and hit the forearm. Sager firing back with one of her own. Oof, man. Just using the momentum from those ropes and that pump kick. Puts an end to that exchange, charging into the corner. He will place them. Legs up on that rope, into that position for those knees. He was looking for this earlier, unsuccessful. Oh, she got the boot up into the jaw, unsuccessful again. Crow's gone to the well for those knees twice and been unsuccessful both times. Potter coming in. There, a very similar version, very damn successful. Now Draper in the corner, third time's the charm for the Rhinestone Cowboy. Going for the cover, two. <laughs> Stephen Crow, a little flummox, a little frustrated. Fans 
chanting that they love wrestling. I think we all love wrestling. That's why we're here. That's why we've got a sold out packed rec room. Steve Pro looking to make some history. He wants to be the third ever LPW Grand Champion. Sager landing on her feet. Ooh, hit that leaping Enziguri right in the side of the skull. And another one sends Crow down to the canvas. These two competitors giving it their all. The main event's the place you want to be on any wrestling card, and I'll put this one up against any. Pump handle from Sager. Crow trying. Flailing that arm and that elbow to try to escape. Able to do so. Butterflies the arm. Tried for that powerbomb. Seeger able to head scissor out of it. Charging in with that clothesline. Fakes first with the flatliner. Leg is hooked. Close. Very, very close. Thank you, Mrs. Callum. I appreciate that. Sager back to her feet. The mind is working. Handful of the gorgeous locks of Stephen Crow. No respect given. Slap across the face, charging the ropes. Crow caught her with the backbreaker. You're an August style butterfly in the arms. Into that power bomb, he was looking for that earlier. Folded her up, but couldn't keep the shoulders down. And now, frustration showing on the face of the challenger. Stephen Crow heading towards the corner. Got caught, got caught by the ankle. Crow able to kick her off. Create a little bit of space to try to maneuver his body, but just not enough time. Now Zoe looking perhaps to bring Crow in to the ring the hard way. Trying to fight out of a very precarious position for both competitors. Zoe down to that ring apron area. That might have jammed the knee. That's very dangerous. Now dragging her up by the hair, hard shot into the midsection. Jockeying for position up on those ropes. Now each with one foot on the top. Sager on top, Crow on top. Twisting suplex from the top. That sends Zoe right out the other side of the ring down to the floor. That was ugly. Steven Crow fired up. He wants that title, and he's gonna go get it. He knows he can't win it on the floor. Back inside. And Reed Matthews grabbing a hold of the ankle. And again, that split second cost Stephen Crow inside cradle. Got the shoulders up. Got that clothesline coming in, floating over. Butterfly in the arms. Looking for that power bomb again. Shoulders are down. Oh, come on. He went for that power bomb. Or she went for that. He, somebody Your went for the goddamn power bomb. And still, the pro wrestling grand champion, the intangible, Zoey Sager. Steven Crow went for that powerbomb, got caught by the ankle by Reed Matthews. Referee didn't see him holding him down, couldn't kick out. And after a hard fought, aggressive battle, Zoe Sager gonna walk out still your LPW Grand Champion. Tangible Era by beating this twerk. 
group. Now all that history, all that happened last, last year, I want to embrace. I want to face the woman who gave me my first loss in OPW. Nicole Matthews, I'm calling you out. And next month, when I beat you for this, everything is erased. The intangible era is here to stay. 